वेलकम यू ऑन जी डॉट मैथ अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट साइन को साइन फॉर एनी एंगल इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन द इन्फॉर्मेशन ही सेड यूज ए कैलकुलेटर टू फाइन द को साइन एंड साइन ऑफ ऑल द एंगल्स जीरो डिग्री थर्टी डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री नाइन्टी डिग्री वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंड सोन टेल वन हंड्रेड एटी इट कैन बी थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी बिकॉज वी नो दैट वी हैव द कम्प्लीट सर्कल इन द कम्प्लीट सर्कल वी हैव द टोटल एंगल्स आर थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी बट इन दिस पार्ट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ओनली फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री बट वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू स्टिल थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी वी टेक अर कम्प्लीट सर्कल ओके इन द बी पार्ट इज सेट ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ वाई इक्वल कॉज एक्स एक्स मीन्स द ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ द एंगल वेयर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू जीरो टू वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री एंड ड्रॉ द ग्राफ वाई इक्वल साइन एक्स फॉर जीरो एक्स अगेन फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन हंड्रेड एटी डिग्री सो वी आर गिवन द एंगल हीयर इन दिस एंगल वी जस्ट रिप्लेस बाय एक्स एंड देन वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू सो एज इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ही सेट फाइंड यूज द कैलकुलेट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ Uh, the angles. So, for example, the first value uh, uh, cos zero. Uh, we know that the cos zero uh, equal one. So here one, and uh, cos thirty equal square root uh, square root three over two. So I'm taking the uh, first. I'm writing here square root three over two, which is equal. Point uh, zero eight six. I'm writing in three significant, so it is point eight six six. On sixty cos sixty, it is uh, one and half, which is point five. One and half, which is point five. So convert them into the decimal because uh, when you draw the graph, we need to uh, the values uh, either in the fraction or the decimal. Cos ninety. And uh, if you remember that this is a uh, zero, uh, cos zero here. This is ninety, and this one is one hundred eighty. So if uh, here cos equal one at zero, and uh, here sine equal zero, and uh, cos here becomes uh, zero, and uh, sine becomes here one, and uh, here. Uh, reverse it. Sine cos become minus one, and the sine still zero, and so on. It's two and seventy again, and come back on that value. But we need only uh, till one hundred eighty. So I'm taking that one, one eighty. So uh, cos ninety, uh, cos ninety, it is zero. Cos one twenty equal negative half. So it means reversing to negative half. In this part, cos is negative. Here, cos and sine both positive. As uh, in the first quadrant, cos sine both positive. In the second quadrant, cos sine, uh, cos is negative. Sine is positive here. Uh, now, it becomes negative half, which is negative point five. And uh, cos one fifty square negative square root three. Here, positive square root three, and here negative. Square root three, negative square root three over two, which is equal negative point eight six and six, and one uh, eighty. We have here one eighty is negative one, so cos one uh, eighty, it is negative one. So replace here negative one, and uh, similar we can find the sine value. Sine uh, at zero, we know that the zero. And on thirty reverse it becomes a half, and this becomes here. So sine thirty, sine thirty, which is half, means point five. And uh, sine sixty, so uh, cos thirty, the value of cos thirty equal the value of sine sixty. Uh, so sine sixty equal point eight uh, six six. Zero point eight six six, and uh, on ninety uh, sine ninety one one hundred twenty sine one twenty equal point eight six six zero point eight six six one fifty point five. 
and uh, sine 180 equal sine 180 equal 0 this is 0 okay in the second part he said that find uh, the graph of uh, y uh, equal cos x and from 0 so these are the uh, angle values and this is the value what we need to plot it so after plotting the points uh, we have the cause uh, graph here and uh, because on uh, 0 uh, if uh, it is uh, 0 on y axis uh, this is y axis which is on 0 so one more thing you should remember it uh, the cause value and the sign value always between 1 and negative 1 so cause and sign always 1 and negative 1 always so uh, we are given here uh, if we are given angle equals 0 so these are the angles on x axis this is x value these are the angles and uh, these are the cos values cos x okay now plot the values here uh, when you plot them uh, it becomes uh, uh, 0 and then 1 0 1 then uh, we have 30 0.866 this is 30 so this is a point eight six is approximately somewhere here so plot the point and then on 60 point uh, five on 60 point five uh, this is a point uh, five approximately on 30 point uh, 60 point five okay this is point six it approximately somewhere here and then 90 zero so it comes here then 120 negative 0.5 120 negative 0.5 it's somewhere here so then uh, 150.866 so 150 this is 150 150 point uh, negative 0.66 so somewhere uh, negative 0.8 somewhere here uh, 150 is approximately somewhere here 180 this is 180 on 180 it is negative uh, 180 is negative 1 okay so join these point you will find the graph y equal cos x okay now same for uh, the c part in the c part he said that draw the graph of y equal sin x so uh, we are given the information again uh, take the values so the values of what given on 30 degree uh, we are given here on 0 0 so 0 0 we are given here again this is the sine uh, sine x and this is the angles and these are the angles here and this is the sine x okay now take the value so 0 on 0 uh, this is 0 0 30.5 this is 30 and this is uh, approximately you can say this is 0.5 somewhere here so 30 and 0.5 and then 60 60.866 60.866 somewhere here so use the graph paper uh, if you use the graph paper then you can easily find out the exact value of the uh, graph so this is because i just made the rough sketch you can say this one so 90 we are given on 91 so this is 90 and this is one okay then uh, 120.86 is then again somewhere here then 50.5 okay and uh, here uh, somewhere here and this is again on 180 sign 0 so join these points okay you find the uh, sine graph y equals sin x okay hope you will understand uh, how to draw the uh, sine cosine and uh, angles for any angles so how can you draw the graph of that okay in the next part uh, we are here uh, we should remember this information uh, these are the symmetry of each uh, he give us the information sine 150 equals sine 30 so it means uh, if we have sine 150 or 130 they have the same answer whatever the value 150 gives you the same value of uh, 30 and 110 70 and 163 equal 117 we know that the total angles uh, on uh, we are talking about the total angles on the uh, line is 180 so i'm talking about the 180 
okay so because uh, i took in the previous question only one uh, till 180 information okay so that's why i'm taking one so even though uh, you can go for the circle so whatever the if they talk about the circle so it cross 180 so it means we need to minus from 360 okay uh, so you should remember uh, sine x equals sine uh, 180 minus x so whatever the angle given 180 minus x you find the same answer and the cos x equal minus cos x 180 minus x so uh, whatever uh, angle given here if you minus it from 180 you'll find the same answer over here like here uh, 150 we are given 150 so 150 sine 150 give us 0.5 okay so uh, we take uh, how can you get this one so sine 150 to place here so it becomes sine 180 minus 150 150 which give you sine 30 so this one sine 30 so which is also 0.5 okay okay uh, here this is not a 180 actually this is 18 degree so sine 18 degree sine 18 we found here point uh, point 0.309 okay so he said that find give an other angle then an other symmetry angle uh, whose sine is this so we just had the formula here sine 180 minus uh, this angle this is 18 so you find sine 172 170 uh, sorry 62 162 so 180 minus 18 162 so find sine 62 so he give us the same answer so uh, give another angle so what is another angle other an angle is 160 so other angle One hundred sixty-two. Okay. Uh, this is not two seventy. It is twenty-seven. So now it's easy for you to find out. Uh, so we are given sine. Uh, so sine one eighty minus twenty-seven. So sine one eighty minus twenty-seven give you one fifty-three. So one fifty-three, which give you point. Four, five, and the same uh, the for the cause also the same thing as we done here we have the formula he said cos x uh, here the cos value of one fifty so it give you minus uh, cos thirty give you minus so it means if I say uh, one fifty uh, so it give us the negative value here so cos one fifty give you negative point uh, negative point uh, 866 we just did in the previous uh, how to draw the sine angle cosine angle uh, so uh, for any angle the shape uh, graph of that so it means cos 30 so this is negative outside so it means the cos 30 give us a positive answer because uh, we uh, cos 150 give us negative answer cos 150 give us a negative answer but cos 30 give us uh, a positive answer as it is in the first quadrant it is as it is in the first quadrant so cos here positive and cos here uh, negative because uh, uh, if we draw on the unit circle uh, it is for example in the unit circle so this is the uh, on x axis is the cos value on x is cos value on y axis on y axis sine value so like uh, we have order pair uh, this is y axis this is x axis we know that the x and y equal uh, they are positive in this quadrant so we compare with the uh, uh, here uh, with the x y so c uh, x means the cause y means the sign okay so uh, here positive so cause 30 cause 30 give you the positive uh, but uh, 150 give us negative so that's why you put before the negative right so what answer give us the negative sign here it is a uh, 270 so this is a uh, cause 70 it is uh, 70 not 700 so 70 degree equal 0.3 so we need to find cause it is uh, 70 cos 70 give us a positive value okay cos 70 give us a positive value which is 0.321 so it means we need to find here cos 
180 minus 70 which give us cos 110 so cos 110 give you the negative value okay so cos 110 cos 110 give you negative 0.345 so this is another angle which give you negative 0.342 uh, uh, again in this question this is not 450 this is 45 degree so we need to find uh, the other angle which is cos uh, 180 minus 45 so cos 180 minus 45 give you 135 so the 135 is that angle which give you point negative 0.707 hope you will get the answer of this uh, sheet uh, please if you like the video uh, do like it and uh, share it with your friends thank you very much